How to evaluate limit of a function? The first question that pops into our mind is what is limit of a function? We often come across functions which are not defined at particular values of x. However, sometimes the value of function as x approaches that particular number may symbolize a useful quantity. For example, let's say a car is moving in such a way that its displacement s is given by the relation s equal to t cube where t is the time taken. Suppose we want to know that for such a relation, what will the instantaneous velocity be, say after 2 seconds? So the instantaneous velocity at e equal to 2 can be thought to be same as the velocity at t equal to 2 minus h and 2 plus h where h is an infinite simile small positive quantity approaching 0. Thus the instantaneous velocity at t just less than 2 can be calculated as limit h tends to 0 2 minus h cube minus 2 cube whole divided by minus h. The value is known as the left-hand limit as t approaches 2. Similarly, the instantaneous velocity at t just greater than 2 can be calculated. This limit is known as the right-hand limit. Since LHL is equal to RHL and is finite, we can be sure of its existence at t equal to 2. So we can say that limit at t equal to 2 exists and the instantaneous velocity is 12 meters per second. Let's take an example to solidify our concept of limits. Question. Calculate limit of root of 1 minus cos 2 times x minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 as x approaches 1. The options are this question was asked in IIT JE 1998 exam. Solution First, let us see if we can simplify the given expression. We know that cos 2 times x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine square x minus 1. Limit x approaching 1 square root of 1 minus cos 2 times x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So by simplifying, we get limit x approaching 1 square root of 2 sine squared x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Since constants don't play a role in deciding the limiting value of a function, we can consider the constant out of the limits. Hence our equation simplifies to root 2 limit mod sin x minus 1 upon x minus 1 as x approaches 1. For left hand limit, let's put x equal to 1 minus h where h is greater than 0, so for x approaching 1 minus h approaches 0. Therefore, we get root 2 limit h approaching 0 mod of sin minus h upon minus h, which is equal to root 2 limit h approaching 0 sin h upon minus h, which is equal to minus root 2. Again, for right hand limit, put x equal to 1 plus h where h is greater than 0. Hence, for x approaching 1 plus h approaches 0. So, right hand limit is equal to limit h approaching 0 root 2 mod sin h upon h. Equal to limit h approaching 0 root 2 sin h upon h which is equal to root 2. So we can see that left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So our option D is correct. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.